wishing you the best of this day. And then thanking you for another year of making us laugh and making us think. Lens is dirty again. <laughs> Good morning. It is 4th of October today. Oh. It's now 10 a.m. 10:30 a.m. 11. 11 a.m. A bit late. We're going to a friend's house this morning for just some tea. She lives on a boat. Her name's Charlie. So that's going to be good. What have I done tomorrow? This morning I got off at like really early just to finish editing the San Francisco vlog. Which you will have available to you right now if you want to go and watch it. So yeah, I got up early. Edited a video, it's had some breakfast, which was nice. What did we do? We cooked some apples first, then chucked like the oats in. Yeah, cinnamon and coconut sugar. I don't usually like apples in porridge, but you know when they just soften, it just makes it a bit nicer in there, so. Right, anyway, to the boat. Less of me rambling on about shit. <laughs> We just went for lunch at Mother Where Daisy Works. We went for the non-BLT, where you get coconut bacon, lettuce, and tomato, but instead of tomato, we got avocado, and also the cream cheese and carrot salmon bagel, which is delicious, and actually tastes like, it. Same, similar texture and taste. It's, it's worth going for and trying, so. I mean, that's another good thing about being a couple, as well as couples discount. Price. Half price. You go to restaurants and you can try so much more food because you can just share things, part of it and share things. Price. Half price. Charlie May got a butter bowl. That said bye to Charlie, she's got stuff to do on the boat. Now we're going to go back home, chill for a bit, and then we've got to go and pick the veg box up. And then we're going to meal prep. And then we're going to meal prep because we're kind of slacking on food, so we're going to just make like chilli and dal and pasta sauce just so we've got that ready. Can't remember what else. We're going to go for a walk, but we don't have to have a walk. Yeah. Oh, Where's Lupin? Where's Lupin? I bet he's sitting on his arse doing absolutely nothing. What do you have to say for yourself? Get up, find a job, and get a life. Lupin, we're doing a shopping list. What have we got on there? Freezer bags. Oat milk. <laughs> tin tomatoes, red peppers, yellow peppers, sweet potato, cauliflower, coriander. Coconut milk? Like tinned coconut milk? Two. Might be worth getting. Oh no, actually, we're going to be cycling there. We don't want two on the list, do we? We've already got ten tins of tomatoes. Okay. Right, okay, come on. Okay, yep, let's keep it at that. On to the bikes. Let's go to the bikes. Ooh. interested um, in getting a veg box and they live in East London this one is growing communities. growing communities we get the large veg and it is 16 pounds a week 
I'm still skeptical whether it saves us money, but Daisy is adamant. It's all organic. It's all organic. It's all grown locally. Yeah, and you get a nice like mix of things got coriander. every week. So this is helpful because we're going to get coriander in a minute. So rocket, spring greens, fennel, rainbow chard, tomatoes, Probably tomatoes, onions, potatoes, carrot, courgettes, and I think there's some spring onions in there yeah. as well. There you go. So. If you're kind of bored of what you're cooking, these are quite good as well because they kind of force you into making different things all the time. One downside is that like certain seasons, you might get a little bit bored of getting the same things quite often yeah, in the box. Yeah, we got like a lot of beetroot. We got a lot of beetroot and like, I love beetroot, but it's quite hard to use up. When you get like four a week. Yeah. Like big ones. I, I struggle to think of what to put beetroot in. I sure would think of things to make other than beans on toast. Now we're gonna go over to Lidl near Hackney Central um, just to get some bits because we're trying to cut down on costs of going yeah, to like no off licenses. So yeah, no more Ricardo. So we're going to Lidl just to, it's a bit cheaper, isn't it? Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. Can I hold your helmet? Yeah, okay. Ten is. Maybe we'll... £8.97 that cost. I am shook. Can you tell who normally does the shopping <laughs> around here? <laughs> well, for a while, just because it's convenient, we get like Ocado deliveries or Tesco deliveries or whatever deliveries. So I just didn't realise how much cheaper it was going to Little. There we go, anyway, time to go home. Always nice to try and ask people who work in supermarkets and everything. Just how their day is, isn't it? It's always nice making them smile. And you can change their day as well just by asking them how their day is going. Did anyone ask them if they Just saying, it's just a nice thing to do. Right. Disrespectful Daisy is unlocking her bike, so am I. See you back home. If I was your best friend, I want you around all the time. Just need to nip to this corner shop to get some coconut milk and oatly oat milk, just because they didn't have it in Lidl, and the lens is dirty again. If you're in Hackney Wick as well, it's worth coming to this street because there's a few nice things on here. You got Frank and Bike at the end, which is like a bike repair stop. They do services there. I'm pretty sure they buy. Yeah, that's right. Barista edition. It's two pounds fucking fifty. What? That's one eighty-five in Whole Foods. This costs seven pounds. God, that sounds so white middle class, yeah. don't I? Get my online shots from Ocado. Could I be your best friend? If you promise you will be mine. I see you. I see blue. Sometimes you see it too. I see you. I see blue. Oh, they work out. Always in the Back way. home. Right, where's Lupin? Oh, there's a surprise. Go and get a job. Lupin? Hey, I'm talking to you. And go get a life. And some mates. You listening? Lupin, Lupin, I'm talking to you. My secret, making avocado toast just can't go wrong, is nice bread, perfectly ripe avocados where they're creamy, plenty of salt, plenty of pepper, lemon, olive oil, chili flakes. Especially those Aleppo chili flakes. Highly, highly recommend really? the smell. It just smells like fresh chilies, basically, doesn't it? There you go, faultless avocado toast there for you.
We're just making shit loads of food just to pop in the freezer just because don't know, just finishing work a bit later. Yeah, finishing work a bit later, so sometimes we get home and we just, just can't be arsed and just end up having kettle chips and hummus, which isn't well, a bad thing. Speak for yourself, I or, don't do that. Or beans on toast. This is gonna be you can't really see anything, but no. sweet potato and lentil and black bean chili. This is gonna be veggie pasta sauce. So Daisy's making those two things. It's my responsibility to make some a big batch of dal. The dal could be like your lunch every day. Yeah. Or you could alternate. Yeah. So what you should do is put all of that, you know that money that you spend on your lunch, like seven pounds a day, put that in a bank account and just see how much you save over like a month. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that maybe. Okay, now for those of you interested in the dal recipe I'm using, put about 400 grams of lentils in here with a cinnamon stick and about a tablespoon of turmeric. And I'm just gonna like boil that, almost overcook it so the lentils are really soft. In this pan, I'm just gonna cook some cumin seeds in there. Pre-made this ground coriander, ground cumin, turmeric, cinnamon in there, asafoetida. Just cause it smells nice. I wouldn't know really how to explain it. It smells kind of oniony, but apparently it's good okay. for the digestion system when you've got loads of spices. What are you doing, lad? I'm trying to lick the insides. Oh, man, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? So yeah, I'm just gonna cook like onion, green chili. I like to cut off the coriander stems and cook them in as well to begin with. And then about six cloves of garlic, so plenty of garlic, always. And then I'll add like coconut milk in the end. Daisy's blending the soup. No, this is pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. With carrots and courgette hidden. And that's how and the chili's is looking chili. right now. I added sweet now. potato, cannellini beans, black beans, kidney beans. Delicious. And is there coriander. Smoke, smoke paprika. Smoke paprika. Lots of smoke paprika, lots of garlic. That's all I'm bothered about. Lots of smoke paprika, lots oh, of garlic. Oh, and red peppers and yellow peppers and green peppers. Red, yellow, green pepper. What we were saying earlier, like, what's the point in green pepper? Why? Having mac and cheese for dinner. Oh, Cook. So pasta sauce is ready. Cumin seeds are going in. Easy just to kind of fry them till they start fizzling. Okay, so I've now got the garlic, coriander stems, and the curry leaves in there. That loops. Add the cooked spices, onions, all that shit in there. Add some water and coconut milk. Then add a load of stock. All good. Sorry that this has suddenly turned into a cooking channel. Ready, steady, dull, and days off. Okay, so now all the food is prepped. Now off over to the park. Now let's go and meet Scott. And we're gonna go for a workout in the park. So I've brought things like resistance bands. If you are kind of wanting to improve your pull-ups and kind of body weight stuff, resistance bands are a really good purchase. They're like 20 or 30 quid, but it's like a solid investment and they can really help you kind of strengthen your pull-ups or um, chin-ups and stuff like that. So um, we're considering. Look at that sky. I love when you can see the clouds like that. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Oh no, you can't a little bit. So we just finished the workout. Couldn't really video a lot of it because it just got so dark in the end that it was pointless. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video there just because we're gonna go back now and eat some pasta. And I don't want the camera out because it's friend time. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up. Scott, be kind. What was it? Love big. Love big, sorry. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> right, be kind of big. <laughs>